Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Bobby from Rayton Productions, and tonight we're going to go over how to hijack other people's guitar tone using just a DI and a little bit of knowledge about their song. One of my subscribers sent me a request to try to mimic the guitar tone of this uh, band called Exodus. So it's like a thrash metal kind of sound. Uh, basically, the guitar tone he's trying to, to mimic is this one. Basically, all we need is is a few things. One, we need to know the guitar amp that was used during recording. And there is a section of the song that is just the guitar and, if, if possible, what the actual guitar was. If we know those things, we'll be able to make almost an exact replica of that tone, assuming we can find an amp simulator of that guitar amp. I know from doing my research that this guitar tone was actually from an amp by a company called Engel, and it's their Savage model. Unfortunately, I could not find any amp sims online, but that's okay. We can, we can use something close. It doesn't need to be the exact amp, and I hope you'll see at the end that we can get pretty close to this tone without even having the right amp or the right guitar. Here's the DI that I received. Sounds like your typical guitar DI, right? Okay. Um, there's a company called, I'm guessing it's maybe Les Pois. I'm not French, so it's hard for me to, to pronounce these things. I took like Spanish in high school. But it's L-E-P-O-U. And they make a bunch of free amp sims, which sound awesome. But uh, they don't come with any cabinet res responses, so they'll sound a little bit weird. You need to use an IR loader to make it sound like an actual guitar amp. But for this video, we don't. it doesn't matter because I'm going to show you a workaround. This one is the LE456. So this is an Engel Powerball amp sim. So it's the same company as the amp that was used, but it's not the same model. Okay, so we're just going to go back and forth between the two and just try to get something that sounds tonally similar. It doesn't have to be exact, okay? So... Okay, so if we listen to the reference, it's not too fizzy. So, and it doesn't sound like it's too, has too much gain, right? So I would say, honestly, this is probably close enough. So all I've done so far is taken the guitar DI, ran it through this amp sim. Now this is where the magic's going to happen. The only difference between this guitar track and what we have right here is that this one has, it's a guitar going into an amplifier, amplifier going through the speaker cabinet, and then microphones on that cabinet. What we have here is a guitar going into an amp sim, so basically a guitar amp, so it's the same thing, but there's no speaker cabinet, right? We don't have a microphone on a cab. We have to simulate that sound. And so normally what you would do is capture what's called an impulse response, which is just how a microphone picks up the sound of the guitar amp going through a speaker, like in, in a real room. We can simulate that using match EQ. But basically, all you need to do is find an EQ that has a match EQ feature on it. So in this case, I happen to own FabFilter Pro Q2, and this has a match EQ feature. What we can do is we put this on our guitar DI track below the guitar amp simulator. Okay, so we have it right, right below that. And this is going to basically act as a cabinet impulse. And it's going to be this exact cabinet impulse, not, not something else. Okay, so what we want to match, when we say match EQ, we're going to be matching the difference between our guitar, the DI, going through this amp sim, and the difference between the guitars in this Exodus track. So the way we set this up is you enable sidechain. So in Cubase, you could just click this, this button here. Um, we're going to go then to the reference track and send the signal to our sidechain. So we're just going to send the full volume to this plugin. So let's go to the EQ match feature. So that's under this analyzer. Then we go to EQ match. Okay. So then we're given this, this box. What we're going to do is we need to record. So we're, we're going to want to record the input signal. So that is going to be the sidechain. 
Okay, so that's what's coming in. So that's our side chain. And um, now what we're going to do is run both at the same time, play both our distorted guitar DI signal and this, this section of the song that has just the distorted guitars. And what it's doing is calculating the difference between the reference and the guitar DI that's distorted. And so this is going to act as our cabinet response. And so you just set up a loop and it will calculate an average. And so here it is. So now we just go match and using fab filter, you can adjust the slider to give it a general shape depending on how tight you want it to sound to match the source signal. You can go really tight, but it might start doing weird things if there's some artifacts in the EQ match. So I like to go a little bit. I don't like to have everything. I like to back it off, you know, around, around here where it looks like the general shape of these peaks and valleys are roughly the same. So at this point, hit finish and check this out. This guitar tone will now sound almost exactly like this. Pretty good, right? So this, again, this is a stereo track. So there's two guitars playing and this is mono, but if you had it stereo, you it'd be hard for you to tell a difference. So check it out. If we get rid of this EQ, listen what it sounds like. We go right back to that distorted guitar sound without a cabinet. And then this is acting as the cabinet. That's a cool little trick that you can do with any song. So as long as you have an idea of what the amp is, and there is a section of the song that it's just the guitar, then you can get an EQ average of the guitar sound, the tone overall and use that and apply that to an amp sim or the real amp if you have it and you're going to get a tone that sounds exactly like your reference try it out on your mixes let me know how it worked out for you and if you have any questions leave them in the comments below and i'll stop by and make sure i answer all of those and try to help you as much as i can so thank you so much if this is helpful hit the subscribe button so you get notifications when i upload new videos and i'll also post uh in the description a link to all these plugins. Uh, so check those out too. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a good night.